Hey YouTube, uh, sorry for my absence, I know it seems to hop happen a lot, um, life does really sort of get in the way of doing this kind of stuff, um, I'm going to try and, <laughs> I'm really going to try hard to do more videos, but, you know, life letting, and I think I'm in a position now where I can do more frequent videos, like hopefully at least once a week, or, you know, somewhere within that time frame to where I'm not having one video a month or one video every six months because that's what's the point and I will be getting to my answer video even though it's a little irrelevant now since it's been so long but I still won't will do it for the people that took the time to ask me the question months ago but I wanted to do this video because it seemed like I was I was recording you know this what I'm doing here on Photoshop right now and I just finished it and it seemed like there's a hot issue on and I'm gonna see how much I can get through it now with YouTube's new time limit of 15 minutes woohoo we're special but the um, where does it start the mosque issue I guess is where everything started because um, we tend to, and I say we as in like atheists, tend to carry this um, idea that w we're more rational because we don't believe in invisible deities that control everything and can see everything and um, will torture you for all eternity for not bowing down before them. <coughs> but... Uh, that's not really what makes somebody rational. Uh, you can not believe in any god and still be a raving lunatic, I'm sure. So, we sort of carry this sort of false image of each other as if because somebody doesn't believe that we're more intelligent and um, we should be taken more seriously because obviously we know what we're talking about because we didn't fall for your stupid little fairy tales and it couldn't be farther from the truth we as people are all different and we're all going to believe different things and just because somebody doesn't believe in a god doesn't make them right all the time and it and it's not just that it doesn't matter your level of education how well spoken you are nothing means that you're going to be right or I'm going to agree with you 100% of the time. And this goes to the start of, I guess, this internal drama going on is between uh, Coughlin 616 and Pat Condell. Now Coughlin 616 evidently doesn't like the political views, a lot of political views that Pat Condell seems to hold and some of the parties he affiliates with whether uh, you know by directly admitting to it or by them using his videos as propaganda on their websites uh, you would have to go watch Coughlin 616 videos if he had re-uploaded all those to his new channel to you know really see um, Coughlin 616 point of view I'm not going to get into all that right now and he provided plenty of information in his links and everything he had pretty much stated was in that you know little whatever crotch bar thing but that got Coughlin 616 a lot a lot of flack because Pat Condell Pat Condell is pretty big subscription wise on YouTube and he's gotten a lot of publicity from a lot of the things he has said and when you have that many subs you're going to have what we you know affectionately call fanboys and those are the people that will believe anything somebody says just because they, you know, fanatically 
agree with another point a person has. Whatever reason that person has become your fanboy, it doesn't you know you could turn around and go, well, maybe we should just start killing all these people in this group, and they'll be like, hell yeah, fucking kill them. You know, those are fanboys. And anyone with a large enough subscription base or been here long enough and, you know, contributed to the website frequently enough probably has those type of people in their subscription count. And it's not their fault. It's just the way the world works. And especially on the internet. Somebody's going to find a reason to uh, go after another person especially when there's no chance of actual any actual confrontation with that person everyone gets big balls when you know the person is thousands of miles away or even you know 50 miles away uh, knowing that they don't know who you are and you can't get caught you can pretty much say whatever you want and you're the man I guess you know you're a big tough guy because you can do that I love it. Internet tough guys for the win. That's what I say. So what's this lead to? This leads to um, Brett Keane not liking Coughlin because Brett Keane obviously agrees with Pat Condell and he thinks, you know, he even stayed in it, and I'm paraphrasing, but he had said something like, you know, these are really intelligent people talking about Thunderfoot and Pat Condell that everyone's enjoyed all their videos and loved and sort of playing with that you know well he agreed with him and he's made all these great videos how can you turn on him now and you don't realize you can disagree with somebody and tell them that you disagree with them and tell them that they're wrong without turning on them have you ever had a family member you love that did something really messed up and you had to sit there and go look man you're wrong you fucked up this isn't how it should be done you need to grow the fuck up and handle your business it's not you turning on them if anything that's being on their side you know uh, the way he did it might not have been that same way uh, you might handle a family member but guess what he's not a his fucking family member. They're not related, so I don't expect him to be holding his hand and going, and I wouldn't even hold my, you know, family member's hand. Depends on who it was, I guess, but, you know, if my brother really fucked up, I'd probably pop him in the back of the head and go, what the fuck were you thinking, dumbass? But that's just me. I'm an asshole. But anyway, so, Brett doesn't like... Coughlin, because he went after Pat Condell and said some things about Thunderfoot, like, how dare he, oh no, how could he possibly go against atheists, they're atheists, you can't argue against atheists, even though I'm arguing with you and my logic doesn't really make sense at the moment, but you can't do it because it's not right. And that leads into a bunch of stuff Brett loves to tell people that they should or shouldn't do while being guilty of doing it at the same time. Like the whole issue of sub whoring, which is absolutely nothing to do with the original problems. It's just like he thought he had some dirt, and his arguments against Coughlin weren't adding up to what he wanted it to be so he started slinging shit he just wanted to you know do whatever damage he could do to Coughlin even though Coughlin's not here right now which that's not a point because it's not Brett's fault that Coughlin decided to fucking go to America and not be around it's not like he should wait I'll take Brett's defense on that it's not like he should wait for fucking Coughlin to get back and be able to make more videos to defend himself and it's you know it's not his responsibility um, but the the whole thing about the sub whoring is you know 
everybody at some point in time. You know, Brett used to tell people how to manipulate your tags to get more views. And more views gets you more subs, okay? The more people you get coming to your channel that aren't subbed you, the more chances you have to getting new subs. Um, Brett loved to go after people that had more subs than he did. Is that a case of sub whoring? If, you know, right now you're putting Pat Condell videos in your videos and, you know, going after Coughlin and, you know, is that a chance that, you know, you could say, well, you know, maybe I'm not putting them in my description or my tags and I'd be like, well, you are making people get up and make videos about it that are going to maybe question what's going on and then they'll go to your channel, find out, you know, see all the videos and it, it all relates, you understand? And Brett would have you believe that he's only gotten his, gotten his subs through his own merits of discussion with nobody else but himself and that's just a lie. It's no way, any form, the way things are done on YouTube. And he knows that. And for him to accuse anybody of sub is, like, laughable um, at any rate. And even if somebody is sub I mean, I could be accused of sub now. I don't know how many... Um, subscribers Brett has but uh, I know Coughlin's like well beyond me and um, most people are because I don't sit here and make fucking videos but that's not the issue uh, I don't really care too much about that but at the same time everybody who comes on to YouTube cares about getting their video seen even even if it's the channel that puts all their videos on private just so their personal friends can view and they can laugh and have fun and share funny videos together without getting spammed with you know trolls and um, stupid comments everybody here is looking for some type of audience and Brett is not the you know He's not exempt from using the same tactics. You know, he's the person that says, why do you think he says, um, you can respond to this video with videos that are even non-related because he understands how the system works or used to work. I don't know if it still does. But, you know, the more video responses you get, the more likely you are, you are to show up on YouTube search pages uh, for things like most responded, most commented, um even you know like most viewed all those pages so to call somebody a sub whore is kinda sad and then also on top of that when Paul's ego sorta points out in a very nice way he wasn't being a dick in his comments and you know you showed one comment he made I believe and then he had actually just made a video and went through the whole dialogue you guys had and you started off your video like, I don't know how he just magically knows this. It's called clicking a fucking button. Right? It's called, uh, you know, I went to one of my subscribers pages that I frequently go to. And I noticed he's got all these hot chicks on the subscription bar. And then it just so happens when you brought up your video, I remembered. And then that'll make you think, I wonder how many other people are subscribed to all these. And you go through all your popular guys and... Guess what? They're all subscribed. And then you go block them. As if to say, I don't care what you have to say because I'm right. And there's nothing you can say to prove me wrong. And that is the mind of a theist right there. Have a good day.